All right, video got cut. I had to delete some footage to make room. Here we go. What I was doing was for deleting footage and making room or having more room. I was gonna throw all of our whites over here with our yellows and toss the blue out. Okay. Um, find a snagger. Use a red potion. Okay. Here we go. Ready? Whites and yellows are the highest jumping and the fastest. So that's a good combination you're going to want to use. Um, it's weakening. Uh, I know where to hit it every time. Uh, right side lower? Oh, right side higher. Oh, uh, it's, it's uh, pretty intelligent. It's going for the yellows, mainly. Uh, instead of the poison. Types. Yeah, poison types. They're Pokemon! How curious. What an impressive mechanized masterpiece. Alright, we're done. Let's get two purples to carry this thing back and uh, the next two. I'm using the left on the D pad if you don't know by now. defies the fundamental laws of physics. On a hovertate, oxygen is deadly, so anything um, in the periodic table of elements higher than 8 is probably poisonous to hovertations, so they do not have aluminum on their whole planet, I'm assuming. So, I don't know. In the new Pikmin, there's um, processing completely fabricated. The Metal Suit Z is now concluded. Justice Alloy. She is extremely durable, getting gnawed or stepped on will now produce a minimal pain. What was it, extreme pain before? Alright, that's it. Where's the exit? I want to find out what's behind this fence before we leave. Um, 
I do recommend watching my videos mm, fully, or at least watching more towards the end content than the beginning of the video because. Now, I'm not saying it's more important, I'm just saying the end of the video is where the objective of what I'm trying to do is what it lies. So, um, I would check these before doing anything else. Just put it down. Get some yellows. Get some blues, hopefully. Yeah. Ten yellows, ten more blues. We're leaving this dungeon with 92 Pikmin, so um, actually you're gonna wanna use these tiny puff buds after the boss battles in case you've lost Pikmin. Um, and you're gonna wanna put them into one corner just to be safe. But anyway, one more egg. Let's check it out, see what it's about. Alright, let's see. Whoa! Purple potion! Um, we're gonna want to extract it carefully. Uh, I'm gonna have the president here. Okay. Have all of our cut across here. I have 18 Pikmin now. Once you get the first nice little 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 little. 18. Alright, here we go. Push the president into potion. Get a better view of this. There we go. Come on. Prezi. Prezi. We drink from the same cup. I don't know. Same puddle. We are brothers in the workforce. We are brothers united. Alright. I don't know. Anyway, let's GTFO. Or oh. Okay. Today's collection is good. Over a thousand. We collected over a thousand. Um, let me read up all the treasures. We got the Justice Alloy, Beast Natural, Stupendous Lenses, Levitation Feather, Cupid's Grenade, Science Project. Taste sensation, the combustion berry, crystallized telepathy, crystallized telekinesis, crystallized clairvoyance, saliva tricks, heavy duty magnetizer, emperor's whistle, and we lost 41 Pikmin to enemies. Or, we, no, we killed 41 enemies, and we lost 30 Pikmin in this dungeon total. So, not bad. I wish I would have lost 20 or less, but I had a couple mistakes, so nothing I can do. And we are just going to end the day. Actually, I don't know, I don't think we can get some red potion, but we can get a large pellet posy that I did not pick up before starting the dungeon on day 21. There's, oh, there's a... Berry plants, creepy chrysanthemums nearby, spectralids. You shoot them with Pikmin and they give you nectar. So let's do that. Very useful. We got most of them flowers. And um, some cherry blossoms falling. Pretty cool. So we're gonna end the day here. So we've completed the survivalist kit. We have the Mega Tweeter, Pluck a Phone from the Water Wraith, the Solar System from the Manit Legs, the Metal Suit Z, we just got the Scorch Guard from the Bull Blacks, the Anti Electrifier from the Glutton's Kitchen, the Rush Boot and the Rocket Fist. I think we got one of those from uh, Mamuda, um, Evolve. Uh, treasure Gauge from the beginning of the game. A Knapsack from the first Snaggard. And the Survey Chart, or the Spear Chart from the Emergence Cave, and I forgot where we got the other one. I think it was here in um, 
is it called? In the Awakening Wood, and the other one in the Valley of Repose. So we're pretty much uh, done here. Um, we're pretty much done. I mean, we have 100% of the Explorer's Kit complete. We just have to finish collecting all the treasures um, this planet has to offer. So that's it. I'm gonna save and quit. Or, not, or go to sunset, actually. Here we go! so far. I think I'm going to cut the video here and I'll continue with you guys later. So we finished. Oh no. Awakening Wood, one above ground treasure. Um, two above ground treasures, I think a dungeon. Uh, all dungeons complete. Um, so we have above ground treasure, one dungeon. Let's go explore the new area, the Wistful Wild. Okay. Alright, so first thing you want to do is there are groins outside your base, so be prepared for that. There are cannon larvas, there's very hostile enemies. Now, if you don't recognize it, this is area one from the first Pikmin game, so this map should be fairly familiar. About half of the map we're familiar with. The other half has water puzzles, hostile enemies, um, elevated areas, places we haven't been to yet. As you can see, um, there was a pot hole in Valley of Repose. This time, we're on top of a, um, a yield sign, a traffic sign. Uh, so, here we are. You can explore the area. There's nectar. If you really want it. But anyway, first thing you want to do is um, get some reds out. And some purples. Uh, we're gonna need a hundred purples. Um, so you can go back to the subterranean complex and get those purples. Um, there's a treasure that requires a hundred, that's why. So, hundred purples. Pikmin for. If each Pikmin 
has if, okay you can have a hundred on the field each purple has the power of ten so if you have a hundred pick a hundred purple that have the power of ten you need the power of a thousand basically and it'll take about half a day or more just to get this treasure back so be prepared Uh, I'm gonna take out this cannon larva here and the snitch bug. Where's the cannon larva? Done. Alright. You're gonna wanna basically be as aggressive as possible. Just, just dominate this area. There's so gonna be a lot of red potions uh, later over here if um, possible. as brutal as you can with this environment, so just take over as much as you can, okay? Um, and then I'm going to freeze this snitch bug here, and just uh, bombard him. Yeah. Give me some nectar, very good. So we pretty much cleared out the gate to our base. We're back here at the base. It's good. Take these remains back. I really want to see if we can get a thousand Pikmin uh, birds. Bird uh, before the end of this let's play. I'm just curious. Yeah. Alright, we're pretty much done with the reds for today. Um, it's the first quarter. So we're gonna I don't want to lose any more purple, so we're going to put the purple away, we're going to put our reds away. Put our reds away. Nope. Our yellows, we're going to put them away. We're going to explore mainly the blues. We have uh, a lot of water hazards um, developing, so take about 25 blues, okay? To get them out of here as quick as possible, so let's go. Uh, most of them have flowers, I think all of them have flowers, so 20, a few are at base, we're gonna get some blues. Um, so we cleared this path out completely. So yeah, we've done pretty well. This entire path is clear now, so we own all of this. Uh, from killing the snitch bug and the cannon larva. So um, you're gonna want to finish the game in as minimal days as possible, unless you want to go 200, 100, 150, 250. Unless you're just trying to push the game to see how far you can uh, stay in it uh, after you finish it. But you really want to finish the game as quick as possible because of the enemies in this game that will spawn after day 30. So, um, diligence, that's all I have to say. Just going into the rocket. We're going to want to flower all our blues. All of our blues. Come on, save time. Oh, okay, we have a groink. Oh my god. I'm gonna try to take out this blowhog first. For some reason, it can breathe fire underwater. Oh my god! Just take a blue. Going 
here is gonna fire at us. Hopefully near the blowhog. Kill it, please. Maybe. Our blues are on fire! Did I just burn at it? Oh, I hit the burrow now. Good, 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 good. Not us. I think I'm going to kill this boy. these remains back to base. Try not to get the attention of this Wally Wally. Ah, uh, I got his attention. I don't want to do that. Uh, I'm going to leave this burrow mat with the remains here. I'm going to try to punch this thing to death. Uh, we're building the bridge here. Oh. Kill the glow hog. It's uh, glowing um, hydrogen fire underwater somehow. It has a biological flamethrower. Here's a dungeon. Wait, from all appearances, this particularly frightening crevice, the data is horrifying. Courage is one thing, but recklessness is something else. Perhaps you should turn back. Well, if you still wish to enter, keep, dar keep your daring in check and just focus on surviving. Let's see what dungeon this is. Cave of Chaos. Uh, no thank you. Uh, the base is this way, so... Where is our base? I think I was headed towards... Yeah. So this will take us, um, to our base. So let me show you... Let me flowerize these guys. So they took the remains back to base, and... We produce more blues, so now we're going to go follow this trail to the far left, hugging this wall, and we're going to go out here, because this bridge is almost complete. So now we're over here, and these Pikmin are building a bridge for us, if you can see there. I uh, use a C-stick to swarm them. I think yesterday or the day before I read the controls for the Wii, so we're following along with the newer version. Come on, Froggy. Woggy, woggy. Oh, look, he's stroking his manly stubble. His froggy stubble. So we've cleared. I think I'm gonna cut the video here, but there's our base. We cleared here. We unlocked one new dungeon. We did pretty well for the Wistful Wild. So anyways, I'm the Mandrifle. I'll see you guys later. If you enjoyed my videos, subscribe. See you guys then.